Nairobi River, I promise there's nothing to smile nothing about. Nothing to smile about. Well, see these bumpers and condoms floating around, blocking the flow of water. Fish in a shindwa tuli, fanya nini to deserve this. Rivers and water bodies next to slums are the biggest casualties of poor sanitation and sewer water systems. They end up being the informal channel of effluent out of the slums. While this can be attributed to several factors, one among them is the lack of personal initiative in the preservation of the environment, either due to outright ignorance, but mostly lack of knowledge on how small-scale pollution builds up to degradation of ecosystems, biodiversity and climate change in general. Larry Duane is the resident of one such slum, Kibera in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Having moved here as an adult, the realization of the magnitude of pollution changed the course of his passion and career in music. You clean up today, tomorrow someone has dumped again. So that really provoked me to, like, how do I communicate, you know? It's good maintaining uh, close relationships, talking to people, sensitizing the community. But I thought, people love music and I'm an artist, so why not make a song for for the river and talk to people through the song they related a lot because i was just you know rapping about day-to-day -day challenges even in terms of me as an individual and uh, just trying to incorporate lyrics of like how i i dealt with it you know i i i, I chose to dispose my waste off responsibly and not just assume that someone else will take care of my trash and uh the community, I feel like we, we were even together while I was recording because they really owned the song. And uh, I've seen it first and even with my interaction with the community during activities where I think I am serving as a symbol of you know, that authority even in terms of environmental conservation. While his course was to change the community perception on garbage management and environmental conservation, his newly found content in lyrics accorded him global recognition, a fate he might never have achieved in other spheres of music. Larry was awarded a certificate in River Restoration, the Eurovision Award 2020 in Netherlands, and is also the recipient of the ISPAC IGAD Award East Africa. Music tends to tap into the more emotional like uh, parts of a human being, putting them in the arts position and just uh, thinking to yourself like, I need to do something because it provokes you. And even music sparks up conversation like about a certain topic. If I sing about like clean water and sanitation, if I sing about the SDGs, like, okay, what, what's that song about? You know, it sparks conversation like, oh, he's rap singing about this, rapping about this, he's trying to tell you, you know, you need to live in a clean environment, you need to be a part of you know, conservation and not just point fingers, you know, live it. And um, for me, for a minute, I've seen and I can testify that, you know, music can be used to actually, like, drive change and uh, create awareness. All right. Larry's efforts go beyond the studio. He has been part of various initiatives working with different organizations in garbage management, river restoration and environmental conservation where his other skills including mobilization, communication and graphics design have been tapped. I've worked with uh, Fridays for Future which is a global climate movement and uh, currently I'm really active with the uh, March for Our Planet movement which is a global movement that is advocating for a non-violent e economy, climate justice and social justice. And uh, what we do is we come up with activities and uh, actions uh, championed or uh, directed by the SDGs. And uh, we sensitize the community on different issues, uh, like teach them on how to uh, conserve the environment in the first place, like uh, even uh, mentor future activists because we need to pass this on and on and share information. We embarked on the restoration of Nairobi River like for all year, like January to December we were here and uh, we covered the whole stretch 
from the entry point at uh, Showground 42, where Nairobi River comes in from Gong, from Gong Forest, sorry, and uh, it leaves at but the dam uh, in uh, Kibera area, that is. So we were able to restore the the river, and uh, fish even came back. Actually, we caught a catfish, and that was a really beautiful time. It's only sad that you know. It, in terms of restoration, we need consistency. And he is not doing it alone. Environmental champion Joseph Silali has been working closely with Larry Dwayne as colleagues under the March for the Planet initiative. He has done a number of music which specifically touch on the, 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 the few SDGs that uh, we are, the, the UN is focusing on and uh, mostly in Kibra whereby some of his songs have been able to to touch most and on themes on water and uh, housing good housing and even food and uh, we so far we've been we've been having art, more artists uh, asking us ask, asking us to how how can they come and be part of us after cleanups i always perform and people always stay over because you know these cleanups are always like um they are really demanding in terms of energy and uh, it, these cleanups also uh, attract people from different backgrounds, even people who are not used to like really manual labor and stuff, but people just want to come through and just do something. So after that, they're always fatigued and they would have left, but you tell them I'm performing later on after the cleanup, they, you know, they, they chill and wait for the performance and they always enjoy it. People share the music. People recommend me everywhere if they're working with other organizations and they're looking for entertainment. Nowadays, it's called like edutainment because it's music with a message. And uh, uh, so far, so good. Silali passes on the challenge to other artists to think how they can use their craft to sensitize their audience and change their perception towards matters environment. It's not some, something you'll do and then you expect money. Even the artists that are doing songs, these are things that it's, it's a matter of life and death at the moment. It's not like how much you're going to make, how much you, 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 you will achieve. This is something like you helping someone who is dying on an ambulance. Like that's the, that's the, the kind of emergency we are in now. But uh, both, all of these artists, they have uh, groups and uh, communities they are coming from. They have different projects. Like here, these guys are doing waste management. From waste management, with the kind of support we, we give them in terms of advocacy and uh, sponsorship of different uh, projects and uh, uh, to attend summits and all that stuff, they, they'll still benefit and uh, that's how we, they, they are getting benefit from what we are doing. But uh, As Maria Von Trapp would say, music acts like a magic key to which most tightly closed hearts opens. Be responsible, reduce, reduce, recycle. The conversation on environmental conservation needs to be extended beyond the boardroom and it is initiatives such as Larry's that enables such communities living next to such resources to participate in restoration of the environment. For K24 from Kibra, I'm David Kagina.